And I talked to one of my colleagues, a man named Dave Rosell, who was secretary of the MAA for quite a number of years. And he said, why don't you join the MAA, bud? And I said, why? He says, very simply, you meet the nicest people there. They're mathematicians who are interested in undergraduates. And I said, Dave, that's for me. It was the um, organization that, like any home, provided me support, challenged me, offered me opportunities to do things I never thought possible. I started attending meetings with my husband, who is a research mathematician, and discovered that it's not just research mathematics. There's mathematics in the MAA for people from secondary schools on through research mathematics. It provides a place for people to give talks and present their research and teaching ideas. It provides a place for people to publish papers and write about things they care about. It gives you an opportunity to express your ideas not just locally but but nationally and actually even globally. It's a, an organization not only committed to mathematics research but it really values, promotes and, and supports a beautiful and good exposition of mathematics and beautiful and good and effective and joyful teaching of mathematics. And that makes me very proud to be a member. The MA provides the framework, the opportunity to make these things happen. Without the MA, a huge part of my career would be just simply gone. It provides a, a network for like-minded mathematicians to get together, to share ideas. For me, having an opportunity um, to, to build relationships. You know, networking is one thing, but also having friendships. So being excited to come and spend time with, you know, with this group of people um, is also very special. For me, the MA is more than the national group. I've been, we've both been very active in our section. And there's a lot of people who, because of their position, aren't able to travel to national meetings as often as we are. And the section is really that place where we stand together in community. I went to a first section meeting at Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts, and uh, Phil Davis gave a fantastic talk. I fell in love with this mathematics. And I, um, it was the one thing I looked forward to, was going to the sectional meetings. And it really just energized me. I flew to the meeting in, <laughs> in Memphis, but uh, I was hoping Elvis would appear, but he didn't. Uh, the, uh, but usually it's, pile a bunch of kids in the car, a bunch of faculty, and go a long distance to the meeting. You meet a lot of your friends, and you get together, and you do math, but you know, you also, just that networking and getting to meet people and getting to know people. It's sort of like a, a family gathering every time we get together. A good family gathering. <laughs> The role in public policy is probably easily forgotten or easily ignored, but it's going to be extremely important um, over the next several decades at least. Uh, I can't go to D.C. and advocate for my profession, funding for STEM, the importance of STEM, but the MAA can do that, right? They have the connections, they're there in D.C. And it really is important that there's somebody sort of standing in the gap, if you will. And it's given, you know, just great publications, some great books, and really outstanding journals. The American Mathematical Monthly, the lead journal of the MAA, is demonstrably the most widely read mathematics journal in the world. Essentially the MAA was founded as a home for the American Mathematical Monthly. The MAA is focused on publishing expository material that helps teaching and learning. I think the MAA publications um, are really a rather unusual, possibly unique resource in academic publishing, at least as far as mathematics is concerned. Everybody involved in mathematics needs to continually learn, and the kind of material that the MAA produces in writing in the journals and books, but also in the talks and meetings like this, is designed to help expand the horizons of all of its members. And I can see that it was a a full-time job reading the monthly. <laughs> I have assigned lots of articles for, uh, for my own students to read. I can read about something that's really far from what I studied, 
for my PhD work and get a feel for that area of mathematics. And I just, as a teacher, I, I want to know these things. And this is, this is, the MA keeps me current. They really help people who have just gotten their PhDs and getting jobs uh, with what's called Project Next. And it's really sort of a network organization where you get to meet some big people and you don't feel like you're alone in the world, which is really good. What we discovered, though, is that there was an enormous need for a community, that, um, that these new PhDs really valued being part of a nationwide community of peers, of people who were at the same stage in their career and all confronting similar challenges, and that they formed an extremely vibrant and supportive community as they sort of moved through that part of their career. I didn't really become, uh, per se, involved until I became a member of Project Next. And I can really say that that was a life-changing event for me. I think Project Next has breathed new life a little bit into the MAA in terms of bringing a younger crowd into MathFest particularly. So I think that's an exciting thing when you see a program uh, not only supporting the early career faculty and helping them to um, be successful as faculty members, but you see it helping the association when these same folks come back years later and become leaders in the association. Well, I think it's been an enormous benefit to the mathematical community. It's drawn, uh, I mean, there are wonderful people entering our profession now. I mean, that's, that, that's one of the, the great discoveries, is that, that there are terrific people entering academic mathematics right now, and that the future of our profession is in outstanding hands. The uh, American Math Competitions is one of the oldest programs of the MAA. If you had Steve Dunbar in here, for instance, you talk about the American Math Competitions, which is a really great way to connect the mathematical community and the K-12. It provi provides an a entry point for the uh, MAA into discussions about uh, what should be in the high school curriculum um, and how that affects and, and connects with the, uh, the college mathematics curriculum that's really the primary focus of the MAA. The problems that appear in the math competition are just delightful. And they're so different from high school problems that it introduces students to the kind of thinking that mathematicians revel in. Each even competition problem in its own right is a gateway to more mathematical thinking. Sometimes it's, it's asked, why should the MAA be involved in a, in a high school activity? And the answer is because those are the people that have become math majors, which is the primary focus of the MAA. But the MAA, I think, is unique in its focus on uh, outreach to the undergraduate. For instance, we'll have 500 people at our section meeting, and probably now half of them will be students. The MAA members can bring research down to high school students. I speak in high schools all the time communicating research, mathematics, what's going on in mathematics to the students. But there's a real turn in the last five years that mathematicians want to bring a sense of joy back to all levels of education. I think it's my biggest hope because I'm actually seeing that happen. We have people in high school who are um, world-class mathematicians already. Uh, I mean ultimately our I think our goal is to improve the teaching of collegiate mathematics and hopefully down the road put more time into preparing people for collegiate mathematics. You know, showing people that mathematics can be fun, can be beautiful. I think in this day and age of extensive testing and no child left behind, you know, we're, we're moving towards a standardization of mathematical material that's taught at the pre-college level. And I think one of the things MAA can do is show the world that there's ever so much more to mathematics. It can be so fun and beautiful that you just don't see in, these, in this test-driven environment. So I think of MAA as sitting right in the middle of the mathematical community as a place, as, as the organization that can bring all of the mathematical community together from the research level down to the even the elementary the, the elementary school level. Because of its inclusiveness, the MAA is the mathematical organization where you'll find members from all fields of mathematics, and I don't mean research fields, I mean people who teach junior high to people who do mathematical research and do only that. 
to government employees. It is inclusive. Um, and the breadth of what you learn from other MAA members, there's no way to duplicate that. I hope that the MAA participates in making the entire world better at thinking clearly. I think we need to continue to advance a vision of mathematics that says that mathematics is the backbone of science, but it's also as beautiful as art. The strength of the MAA has been responding to the needs of the time. I think we need to mobilize to try to reach uh, many of our underserved populations that uh, don't have access to um, high quality mathematics instruction. So we need to be in the schools. Uh, we need to be um, uh, helping teachers help their students learn something about mathematics and realize that mathematics is more than just working with, with, uh, uh, with numbers, but it's really a, a way of understanding patterns, and understanding the world around us. Some people who are, who are really passionate about making change don't know where to start, and I think we can you know, be a source of information. We can make a better math world. <laughs> we really can. MA is awesome. I mean, it's just, it's a great organization. I love this organization. I actually feel as if I owe all of my success to the opportunities that the MAA has given me. I just think any serious, dedicated teacher of mathematics owes it to themselves to become a member of the MAA. I think the hope of the MAA is, is in its members. Mathematics is not a spectator sport. You have to get in there and do it. I think MAA is just really growing and blossoming into a real sort of a a nurturer of the whole next generation of mathematicians in that community. Oh, I would do anything within my power to help this organization succeed and thrive. And what do I do for the MAA? Uh, whatever I do for the MAA, it does a lot more for me. So to be part of this community that really is transforming the world, and it, it is. Mathematics is now everywhere, and I am part of this mathematical community, uh, which serves to educate the U.S. population to introduce tremendous ideas to our students. I just couldn't be prouder. It's just such a very big, happy family, friendly family. Yeah, I mean, I love the MAA. I mean, I, uh, there's probably not any, a better way of saying it. Um, yeah, I love the MAA. Happy birthday, 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 MAA, and many more.